So recently, literally no one has said to me, Mark, you made some borderline funny comments about Hooters last week, but we'd really like to hear more. Now, of course, who am I to argue with literally no one? And if you're arguing with no one, then you're basically agreeing. So, if we're all in agreement, then let's go in and take a look, right? This is, of course, all part of my ongoing campaign to milk hooters for as many cheap laughs as possible, including the use of the phrase milk hooters. Hooters is, of course, the mammary-associated meal option for men. I was going to say for morons, but I don't want to alienate too many of my audience too early in this video. The irony is, of course, that this mall doesn't have a Hooters. It only has a t-shirt stand commemorating that great time you went out and didn't go to Hooters. Not, of course, that if you did go to Hooters, it's like you don't get to see naked breasts. So a t-shirt from Hooters basically is a t-shirt commemorating not seeing breasts. Whereas a t-shirt from the Hooters t-shirt stand is basically a t-shirt commemorating not not seeing breasts. Unfortunately, not not seeing breasts isn't the kind of double D cup, double negative that ultimately means that you did get to see breasts. With these Hooters t-shirts, you basically have to supply your own. And by that, I don't mean chicken wings. In fact, getting a t-shirt for Hooters when you didn't go to Hooters is kind of like getting a concert t-shirt for a band you didn't go and see in concert. Now, if you do go, I mean, if you are going to go and see a band in concert, a lot of people like to get the new album up front because they want to know all the songs when they go and see them in concert. I don't know what you're doing if you're waiting for the Hooters to open at the mall. Maybe spending your time on the internet looking at pictures of not actually naked breasts and t-shirts so that you'll be able to recognise not actually naked breasts when you go to Hooters on your big day. Ultimately, what really scares me about the Hooters t-shirt stand is that they sell onesies for babies. I guess that's the great holiday gift that says to your, you know, to your daughter, um, when you grow up, you can be anything you want in life, anything at all up to, but probably not including president. However, it's important to have something to fall back on, like a career in waitressing. Although I guess if uh, you're going to be a Hooters waitress, you're less likely to fall backwards than you are to topple forwards under the weight of your enormous t-shirt ensconced breasts. To change the subject, kind of for a moment. Tiger Woods has just come out to admit his transgressions. Basically he's come out to say that his greatest strength is also his greatest weakness. That's right, he was undone by the eye of the tiger. The roving eye of the tiger that is. So for the sake of his family, Tiger has made a promise. From now on he's going to keep his balls well away from sand traps, the long grass, landing strips, Brazilian putting greens and any form of crazy golf where the hole is basically some chick in a bikini bending forward with a look on her face that says multi-billion dollar celebrity well knock it right in then. I'll just leave you with this thought um, if there's anything we can learn from Hooters um, Mr Barnes and Mr Noble it is that if you want to stay competitive with the likes of Amazon you might want to look into hiring some Amazons of your own. See you next time. Cheers. So obviously, first thing in the morning, there's kind of a curtain of shame around the, uh, the Hooters merchandising uh, establishment back there in the mall. It's obviously too early to gaze upon the, uh, the garments of wonderment contained underneath that uh, shame curtain. Apparently Mrs Fields, um, her cookies are on display 24-7. Uh, she's got her cookies out. Oh, there's a plane going overhead. I don't know if you can hear that. The last time I filmed out here there were geese. There's a plane. Kind of cloudy so you can't see that. But anyway, um, Cheap, childish, sexual uh, euphemism, haha, ha, giggle, giggle, Mrs. Fields cookies, get that out of the way. Um, that was uh, the second 
of my reports from the Hooters stand at the mall today. I really need to find something better to do with my time.